Okay, so now we're looking at male anatomy here. Okay, so we'll start way down here. We have the scrotum, which is just the skin that wraps around the testes and the epididymis here. Okay, so we have sperm production here in the testes. Uh, it matures a little bit here in the epididymis, uh, where it will finally, uh, during ejaculation, travel up the vas deferens. We can see that that vas deferens travels way up here around the pubic bone, around the bladder, uh, where it's going to merge here uh, with the fluids of this gland. This is the seminal vesicle. Okay, and where those two merge, it becomes the ejaculatory duct. From there, it's going to flow down and it's going to run into the prosthetic urethra. Uh, so this is your prostate gland uh, kind of wrapped around it. Again, you're getting more fluids in there. Uh, they'll flow down and they merge one more time uh, with fluids from the bulbourethral gland, which is this gland back here. And finally, they become the urethra, which travels all the way out of the penis. Okay, looking at the penis itself, we have kind of multiple layers associated with it. Okay, so way back here in the back, uh, we have the penile bulb or crux. Okay, uh, the actual shaft of the penis has a couple of different layers associated with it. Way out here on the side is the corpora cavernosa. Underneath that is the uh, corpus sponginosum. Out on the outside is the glans penis, the head of the penis. And then the foreskin of the penis, the part that gets circumcised, if you get circumcised, uh, is the uh, prepuce.